Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and welcome back to my 2014 video series on using Google Drive. In this video, we're going to talk about adding comments, managing comments, and replying to comments within Google Drive. If you haven't checked out the other videos in the series, make sure you take a look at them. I'm covering every aspect of Google Drive here in 2014. So let's go ahead and take a look at comments. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my web browser here. I'm using Google Chrome and you can see that I'm already in Google Drive. Now let's go ahead and open up one of these documents. I'm going to open up the grocery list document that I have here. And what comments allow you to do in Google Drive is it allows you to comment on a specific part of the document without actually editing inside the document. So your comments are going to be over here on the right side of the document. Other people can then reply to those comments. They'll be notified when you make those comments. So when you're collaborating on a document, you can do all of your collaboration right within the document so you have all the information right in front of you in one place. So let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I want you to notice that at the very top right of your screen, you have a button that's called comments. If you click on that, a little drop down appears. And if we have comments that are already in the document, they're going to appear here. And we'll see that in a few minutes when we add some comments. But also notice that there's this drop down called notifications. And this is where you can set your email notifications for comments on this particular document. So if we click on the drop down, you'll notice that we have three options. We can get notifications for all comments. So when somebody adds a new comment or when they reply to one of our previously added comments, we can also change that only to receive emails when somebody replies to a comment that you've made, or we could turn off notifications completely by choosing none. Now over here at the right, we have a button to add a comment in the document, but I don't like to add comments this way. There's a little bit of an easier way. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's say on our grocery list here, we have onions and we need to specify which type of onions we want to get. Now, obviously I could go in here and I could just type in red onions, but maybe we want to ask the other collaborators in the document what type of onions they want. So instead of just typing it in there, we can actually highlight this section of the document. You can highlight a word, a paragraph, however much you want. And then you're going to right click in the area that you've highlighted to bring down this drop down list with a whole bunch of different options for us. You'll notice that the option right in the middle of the list is comment. So we're going to comment on this specific part of the document. So go ahead and choose comment from here. And you'll notice that on the right side of our screen, a little comment box appears, allowing us to type our comment. So we can just type what type of onions do you want. And then once we're ready, we can hit the comment button. You'll notice that my comment now appears in the right side of the screen. If any other users are subscribed to notifications for this document, they'll get an email saying Anson Alexander has added a comment. It'll actually say the comment in the email for them and allow them to reply to it. But let's look at a couple other things here within the document. You'll notice that in our actual document, the word onions is still highlighted, even if we click away from it. That little yellow highlight means that there's a comment on that part of the document. So if I click on onions, you'll notice how the comment on the right pops out a little bit, telling us which comment is associated with this highlight over here. Now at the same time, if I don't have onion selected and I click on the comment on the right side of my screen, the highlight will change to a little bit of a darker yellow telling us that, hey, this comment is associated with onions. Now you'll notice that we have this button up here at the top that says resolve. So as you're working on a document, these comments can just keep adding up and adding up. And at some point you might have too many comments over here on the right where it gets a little bit convoluted and you can't really see which comments are going where and it just is too many comments. So once you're finished working with a comment, let's say that this comment is no longer necessary. We've replied back and forth to each other and we no longer need to see this comment right in the right side of our screen. We could click the resolve button and the comment will disappear, but we can still find that comment. It's just not going to show up here on this screen of the document. But if I click on the comments drop down up here at the top, you'll notice that we can see our previously created comment, any replies that have happened to that comment, and we can see that it was marked as resolved and at what time it was marked as resolved. Now, if we add another comment to this particular original comment, it will reopen the comment and it will come back into our document. We also have the option of just clicking reopen. And when I click that, you'll notice it comes back down here into our document, but we still see the history. We can see that the comment was made at 423, and at 424 it was marked as resolved, and then at 425 it was reopened again. So now we could go in here and we could 
go to the bottom and we could reply to this comment. We could say we want red onions. Now obviously if there was another collaborator in this document, instead of it saying Anson Alexander posted the comment, it would say whoever posted it. So you can see who's saying what. And then again, when we're ready, once we've finished the thread, once we're done discussing this comment, we can mark it as resolved and it will go up to the top of our Google Docs for us to view later on. That's pretty much all there is to the comments feature here in Google Drive. It's very simple, very sweet, but it definitely helps your collaborative efforts when working with documents here in Google Drive. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all of my Google Drive videos coming up in the rest of this 2014 Google Drive video series. Again, going over every feature in Google Drive here in 2014. That's all I have for you for right now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.